Welcome back to the Gravity Golf Channel. I am Daniel Lee, your host today, and it has been a while since uh, since we have put any of these videos out, and so I had a few minutes. I just made it back into Florida and hanging out here with some of my good buddies, and I wanted to show you guys a drill while we were out here messing around and have some fun, something you can take with you and really help you feel how to sense where the bottom of your arc is. You know, that's one of the things that people really are trying to get a feel for is exactly where to bottom out the club. And it's a little different than the way most people would think to approach it. They just stand up and try and put the club down next to the ball and figure that's where they want to hit it from. But the issue with that is that you'll actually have to have your mass moving through, meaning that the bottom of your arc is actually changing as you're moving through your shot. So that means that you have to get a really good sense of not only where it is at setup, but where it's gonna be at impact. So what we're doing here is, A, we're gonna be feeling the geometry off of the front side of our body. So knowing that we wanna feel that the front side of our body is making impact with the ball, and that's gonna help us feel where the bottom of the arc is. And so there's a whole lot of things going on here. So without too much more ado, I am going to toss this up and attempt to walk through this with taking as little as divot as possible or maybe even no divot if I can really feel where the bottom of the arc is. So I'm just gonna pop it up and then walk right through this. So that was pretty clean. I was able to nip that right off the turf. What you'll notice is that if you come into this and you're hitting heavy into these shots or you feel that you're, you're pulling down on it, there's so many things that's gonna start moving out of your swing in a positive way when you start feeling how to feel the front side of your body clearing through. As you can see, we're also on an uphill slope here. So like I said, there's a whole bunch of things going on, but the drill is to hit these left-handed shots, these left-handed flop shots, and try and walk through our shots. So when we're doing this on an uphill slope, it just gives us that much more of the natural instinct to move in the direction that we wanna go, rather than trying to hunt down at the ball. So a little less talk and a little more move. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Find some rhythm. One of the other things you'll notice here is how the club really goes up into a more vertical position. If you stand here and just move it outside of vertical, you'll really start to feel how much tension moves up the arm and that's enough to really labor you and move your whole center of gravity off, which changes the bottom of your arc. So there's a whole lot of things, like I said, going on here. Your main objective is to get yourself moving as freely up this hill as possible and to try and do it in a manner that just brushes the contour of the ground. And if you can do that, you'll start discovering all kinds of things about your, your timing and your geometry, the, the way that you set it into motion from your heave from really low down in here and feeling how you can get used to throwing it up in a vertical spot that'll drop easy and just how to move through your shots, which is what it comes down to at the end of the day, that you can get all of your mass moving through every shot and that everything is cleared out of the way. So thanks for uh, coming back to Florida with me. Uh, I'll be here for a few months and hope to see you guys. I will look forward to it. Thanks again for everything. See you very soon.